Hello and welcome to the show. My name is your host, the Craft Man. This weather got my uh, hair looking like whoop de do. Look at this. In today's edition, we're gonna talk about how that you can make your own mold putty using ingredients that you can get at your local store. Just some basic household ingredients. I'm gonna show y'all maybe two, three, four different kind of ways that you can do this to however you might be comfortable. The first basic way I'm gonna show you is very common. You're gonna need some cornstarch. As you can see, I got me some cornstarch from Fred's Dollar Store. Next thing you're gonna need you some silicone. Make sure it's the 100% silicone. And optionally, get you some type of color. I got me some Fred's food color right here. But later on in the video, I'm gonna show you a different way that you can color your project. And you might notice in today's video, I'm wearing some gloves. You're gonna either need you a cutter to cut the tube open, or you could just use you a caulking gun like this right here. Go ahead and cut the tip off the silicone. Take you a nail or some kind of little pointer little thing and drop it down in there and uh, break the seal. Go ahead and put the uh, silicone in the caulking gun. Now you're ready to extract the silicone. So first, what I like to do when I'm doing the cornstarch method is to go ahead and lay me out some cornstarch on the surface. I got some parchment paper laid down right here. So I got me a bit of cornstarch and I just put the silicone right in it, right on top of it. And then you're just gonna start rolling this around. If you're cooking, this might feel kind of familiar. But anyway, you're just gonna keep folding, rolling, going around. If it sticks to you, add you some more cornstarch. You wanna keep getting it to this consistency like a putty, like this right here. At this point, then you're ready to use it immediately. You can't wait around too long with this. I just grabbed me a key. I said, I'm gonna make me a key mold. I seen they did that in the movies. All right. And while that's curing, I'm gonna go ahead and show you that you can make you something out of color. Look at this. Put the food color in there, mix it, mix it, mix it real good, consistently. Once you get that thoroughly mixed, then you go ahead and get the cornstarch involved. And again, I'm just putting it right on that cornstarch. You want to kind of roll it around, mix it up real good till you get to a putty consistency. Look at that right there. That's what we want. And let's go ahead and make us a little color version of that key mode. Look at this. I'm gonna show y'all some extra things later. Y'all stick with me. This is just the basic, basic right here. And look, pop it out. Got you a little mold. Captured all the detail of the key. Here's another little trick. Mineral oil, look at this. All right. Extrude some silicone. This time I'm gonna go with a different color. Let's mix this up, looking like an orange. Mix it, mix it real good. Lay it out on a cornflower. And I have put mineral oil all over my hands. And look at the difference that it makes using mineral oil. The consistency reminds me of a taffy. And this is what it looks like when it's cured. It's very flexible and also very strong and stretchy. Look at that. Craftsman, I don't have food coloring. All right. You can use regular old paint. I got some acrylic paint. Let's see what this will do if we mix acrylic. Yes, you can. I'm going to stick this in a mold here. I wonder if we can extrude this. Absolutely, you can extrude it. Look at this. Look how flexible, stretchy that is. Nice. This little action figure that I made, named Tim, stands for timber. This piece right here is the stand that you put him on. So he got, he got a little leg like that. And then you can stick him, make him stand on this little stand. It's a rock right here. See that? It's a little rock based looking thing made out of plastic. Right here is the very original rock that I had got. And this right here is a real rock. Look, see that? So this would be a good example to show y'all how that you can make a mold of this. I decided you need a little bit of silver. 
Ooh, that looking nice right there. I don't know if it's necessary, but uh, I brought me some mineral oil up on that. I'm just gonna put some mineral oil up on my hands, like this right here. I'm gonna go ahead and squish it down all around the little uh, rock, a little stone. Make sure to kind of tuck it in, press it. We want to capture all the detail possible. Wow, that's curious. Let me show you this advanced method right here. I learned this technique from a gentleman named Jay Duffy 54 on the internet. You got the same ingredients, silicone, cornstarch, but additionally, you got mineral spirits. This is going to be a ratio, two parts silicone, two parts cornstarch to one part mineral spirits. Carefully place all the ingredients together and then mix it, mix it, mix it to a smooth consistency. The benefit of this technique is that you can save on your silicone. And this is what the mold looks like made from that. And here's the other mold we made with the silver color. What I like about the, uh, the mineral spirits method is that you can get a lot more mileage out of your silicone with that. Check out this little mold right here. I got it from Hobby Lobby at 4 I got me some ease release, mold release. I'm just gonna put me a little mold release down in the mold. Let's make some hearts. Let's make some squishy hearts, heart shapes. I got my mineral oil so that I can grab it and squish it all around. Probably using the mineral oil, I didn't really need an ease release or mold release, but anyway, look at this. Craft man, you not showed me enough methods. I need to know at least one more way that I can do this. All right. Here's another thing you can do. Take you some uh, dish soap and some water like this. And just go ahead and put up you some uh, liquid up in it like that. And uh, I'm not measuring this. I'm just going to town with it. We're going to do like that with it. And uh, I know that I look like uh, apple juice, but do not drink it. I bet somebody out there probably drank this before like a cleanse. Put the silicone up in like that. And now what you should be able to do, it should allow you that you can, uh, you can handle it a little bit easy. The slippy soapy soap is what lets you to uh, handle this, you see. If you don't want to mess with some oils and things like that, then uh, this might be another method that you can do. And hopefully the mold release that I had used previously would be enough that this ain't gonna get stuck up in there. I guess we're gonna find out together. And then they done had time to cure. Oh, that's, that came right out. You could just take that little flash off like that. Take you some, uh, some scissors and go around like this. I wanted to show y'all, this is something I made previously. Uh, as you can see, I made this little figure right here using an uh, epoxy skull. It made a mold out of him using an easy mold like this. Okay. So what we're gonna do, let's say we wanna make us a little squishy version of this little guy right here. Make a little squishy, a stress reliever version. Remember the silicone, uh, don't like to stick to a whole lot, but it will stick to silicone. All right. So, I'm gonna take me some uh, mold release right here. But you can use anything. You can even, you can use Vicks Vapor Rub if you got it. We get the silicone going. You just wanna keep folding it over into itself like that. Now I usually try to work pretty quick right here. But by adding all this uh, cornstarch and things like this to it, it's gonna accelerate that uh, drying time on that, all right. The cure time is going to be greatly accelerated. We're going to put a mold right here in the middle of all this mess right here. I might should have used me some, uh, some other kind of mold release. As you can see, it's coming out, but it's still want to stick to that pretty good. Look at that. Let's see if we can get this out of here. He come out talking about, I can't see. What is this place? This place is a mess. Hello. 
They need to get some clothes on. I hope y'all enjoyed that. Go make you some putty. Uh, moles. Uh, if you know some friends that's ever talking about, hey, I want to make me a mold. I want to make me some squishy silicone rubber thing, character looking, doing thing. Send them to this video. And uh, remember, keep steady crab.